Some people are saying that the Chinese market is way ahead of that in the U.S. and Europe in terms of technology, in terms of uh, you know automation uh, offerings. Uh, what's your view on that, and how are you going to catch up with the trend? It's the craziest, most competitive, largest EV market in the world, and new brands seem to be coming out every single day, right? And and it's going to be you know both for traditional automakers, but also the new EV makers. There's so much competition which is good for customers because they get a lot of choices. The way we are approaching that with Ford is we're really focused on leveraging our strengths, and that is with our iconic products. So whether it's in the U.S. with our iconic F-150, the Lightning, or in, around the world where we have the Transit, the Lightning, and the Mach-E like we have here in China, that's how we're approaching it. We believe in a, in a, in a very competitive market like this, you have to have something distinct and differentiated that other people can't match. And so that's really our plan here in China and globally with, with Ford, uh, Mach-E, Lightning, and Transit, our iconic products. And Ford has just increased your investment in EV production. Uh, what's next, uh, in starting from here? And is China in the picture? China is absolutely strate strategically important to Ford. And we're committed to our electrification acceleration here. And not just to compete, but to learn. As we talked about, there's so many competition and so many dynamic, agile, fast-moving parts of this market, whether it's digital or products, we need to learn from that and, and take that into our consideration, our strategy globally. Um, we've about, we're spending about between 2022 and 2026, we'll spend about $50 billion on EV manufacturing, production, and, and batteries. And we're going to sell, by, by 2030, half of our sales will be EV products. So globally, we're fully committed, and China, we're fully committed as well. And in terms of technology and you know, R&D, do you think uh, Ford is aggressive enough? Because you are in a highly competitive market, that's China, and the car offerings here are very technologically advanced. Yeah, I think um, we certainly, technology is moving very fast globally, and especially in China. And I think what we're focused on is the technology that we think will be beneficial to people, like Blue Cruise, right? That's something that I know that people will really enjoy, helps them with their daily lives. We're also looking towards the technology that's important to our customers. So one of the things we've invested in in Mustang Mach-E is, is our Mustang Mach-E app that not only gives customers access to our online community and conversations, but allows them to control some parts of their vehicle through the app. And really important at the heart of every EV customers is the charging experience. So we've built out this charging network of almost a half a million charging piles of public charging piles access. And through our app, customers can seamlessly integrate with those charging pools. So we're working on technology advancements that are important to our customers that also are aligned to our brand heritage and value.